Hey, Tom here from the Run Testers with another of our multi-tester shoe reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Socony Triumph 19. Let's see what we all thought. The price is £145 or $150. It weighs in at 286 grams or 10.1 ounces for men in a size 8, and the drop is 8 millimeters. The Triumph 19 is the latest in Socony's long line of cushion shoes designed for runners who want comfort and a plush ride but still want to be able to take things up a notch for faster training sessions. The midsole is made from Socony's Power Run Plus foam, a material that balances softness with a light springy feel, making it a versatile shoe for runners who like a bit of bounce. There's an updated mesh upper built to feel supportive and comfortable while still adding a good level of breathability, and that's partly due to Socony's form fit design that aims to lock the foot in place without feeling too restrictive. There's also an updated rubber outsole to improve durability and grip, as well as a range of colorways. So fit for me has been pretty much spot on with the Triumph. Um, I would say across the board, Socony's kind of done a really good job um, this year on that. Uh, anyway, I've run in the Pro 2, the Speed 2, the Ride 14, the Convara, and all those shoes have kind of worked really nicely uh, for me. And it's no real kind of change with this shoe. And I think with this shoe, you're getting kind of a mix of kind of those, some of those other shoes, I think the Speed 2 and also the Ride 14, more so the Ride 14, because those shoes are kind of, these shoes are kind of built for kind of comfortable running. So you're getting those kind of similar kind of springy laces, you're getting kind of kind of nice padding on the heel collar and the tongue. I think you're getting a little bit more padding on the tongue um, from the Ride 14, but it's not a huge amount in it. Um, and those kind of similarities for me with the Speed 2 is that you're getting a similar kind of looking uh, kind of mesh upper, similar in terms of the kind of ventilation and creating something that's breathable. I think on this shoe feels a little bit more spacious, just a little bit, um, I think, um, particularly kind of wide, out wide and kind of up front in the toe box. But generally, it's just been a really comfortable shoe uh, to run in. I've had no real issues, no kind of slippage. Um, I think it's a shoe that's uh, on an upper that's built to be a comfortable kind of snug fitting um, shoe to wear and that's kind of what I've got from it. So yeah, for me the Triumph uh, in terms of fit has been really solid uh, and no major issues for me. So I've tested I think four or five uh, generations of the Triumph before the 19 and I've used the same size in all of them um, and I think on this one it came up a bit longer than the other ones. I think I had a bit more room at the front of the toe box there than with past Triumphs but it was still fine in my true to size um, and it fit quite nicely around the midfoot and around the heel so yeah I was pretty happy in my true to size but it does have a, maybe a slightly longer toe box than past versions that I've tested. Fit for me was true to size. I actually found it to be a very comfortable shoe, quite a generous shoe in the forefoot and the midfoot um, to the point where it felt like there's a lot of space and wiggle room in them. So that might be an issue if you like a sort of lockdown fit in your running shoes. But other than that, fit true to size for me had no issues at all. I've been quite a long-term fan of the Triumph and the versions that had the Everrun foam in particular I was a really big fan of. I used them quite a lot. I felt they were quite really comfortable, kind of easy day shoe, but still had a nice amount of pop that you could use them for faster stuff. I actually set a couple of my early PBs in one of the early versions of the Triumph. And I feel like maybe recently, maybe with the move to the new phone, the last few versions have felt a bit more all-out cruisery to me like um, I don't think there's as much pop in them a bit of a move away from that in the latest one in that the shoe is a fair bit lighter I think this Triumph 19 is about 20 grams lighter in my size than the Triumph 18 was which I'm, and I wasn't a huge fan of the 18 I think I like the 19 a little bit more I think it has got a bit more versatility to it it's certainly still a shoe that's redesigned to be comfortable and that's where it excels the most but yeah I have been able to do some longer runs where I've picked up the pace towards the end and it's you know it's felt reasonably bouncy and responsive and fun to run in I've done about 80k in the shoe, like I say, mostly easy runs. It, it serves really well as kind of a easy run shoe, and and it probably has enough versatility to be a daily trainer for some people. But yeah, it wouldn't be my first choice. I think I'd prefer um, something a bit more lively to use for speedier work. And uh, the only real problem I had at all with ride 
other than it just being a bit <laughs> ponderous at times, is that I had some hot spots under my forefoot on the longer runs, but they never really developed into anything too painful and they often went away. But yeah, maybe something to think about if you often get a problem in that area when you're running. So I've done about 40 kilometers in these shoes so far. I'm currently marathon tapering and not really doing longer miles at the moment. Um, but I've done up to about 13 kilometers in the Triumph 19. And that has mainly been sort of slow plodding runs um, with some sort of faster testing work thrown in to see how it does at faster paces. On those runs where I went up to 13k I found that by the end of the run my legs felt great um, and I definitely think it's a shoe that I would use for much more longer distance running and I'm hoping to do a lot more longer runs in them once my marathon is complete and uh, I get back onto normal training. This is the first time I've actually used a Triumph shoe. I've heard Nick talk about some of the previous iterations of the range um, and he's been very complimentary in the past about them. So I wanted to try them because I'm a big fan of cushion shoes and they have not disappointed when it comes to cushioning because I've really enjoyed running in these. They've got a really thick layer of power run uh, plus midsole foam which manages to just feel really soft and comfortable and enjoyable on the legs um, but also has a nice little bit of um, pop in the midsole as well uh, first couple of times i ran in them i i was surprised by the sort of little bit of bounce that you get from them um, i just expected them to be sort of a very soft cushy um like, like daily trainer but i i think they have a little bit more popping than you probably expect from a shoe with this much cushioning i like the look of the shoe it's just not something that i've been able to say about a lot of the um more recent Socony sort of checkered trainer shoes you can see that checkered design on the inside of the shoe there on shoes like the shift 2 and the speed 2 it's a lot more obvious and you can see it a lot more across the shoe i know some of you like that design I don't think many of the, uh, the run testers, if any, are keen on that design. It's a little bit garish for us, but um, I think with this shoe, it's just a much more subtle design that um, just takes that sort of idea and takes it into a, a nicer, more enjoyable way of looking at a shoe. I have read people talking about how they don't like these laces. They're those sort of thick, squishy laces. Um, but I really like that sort of lace. I find that they're really easy to tie down tightly um, without having to double knot them. I never, whenever I've tied these down and given them a good pull, they don't seem to loosen up. I never have to redo them. So I actually quite like those laces. I think they're a nice addition to the shoe. Also, there's a lot of rubber on the outsole, a fairly thick helping. Um, I mean, I've only done 40 K, so the durability is almost unnoticeable at the moment. They look pretty much new as it is, but that level of rubber does seem to be pretty thick and durable. So I'm expecting them to be a relatively durable shoe. So the run test and what I would say is this shoe landed with me at just the right time. Uh, it was a couple of weeks before Berlin, so I'm kind of tapering and those runs are really about keeping the legs ticking over. And then post Berlin, um, looking to kind of gradually get running back into my legs. Um, so looking for a shoe that I was just going to go out and kind of run easy with no pressure and that's exactly where this shoe kind of really excelled for me and actually overall every run I did in this shoe I actually you know I really enjoyed running in it now it definitely feels best suited to those kind of easy paces um I do think it's capacity to go a little bit quicker in these but um I don't think that's where they're best built for I think you know this upper is built to you know kind of be comfortable uh in the right you know kind of supportive in the right places the cushioning is soft plush not overly soft I don't think um you get a little bit of snap in there when you go a little bit quicker I had a couple of runs where uh, one of my club runs I had the opportunity to go a little bit quicker and actually it felt fine but I look at something like the Ride 14 which is obviously in Socony's collection as well and I think that's a little bit snappier to run in based on my experience but overall I've really enjoyed running this shoe I definitely think that kind of those slower kind of comfortable easier paces where it's best suited um, I think you can run kind of shorter and longer distance in it in it without kind of really major issue I think you're gonna get good durability from it as well um, so yeah overall really enjoyed running in the new Triumph um, no major issues for me um, in terms of that running performance and one that overall I've really liked um, having time testing overall I'd say that they are a really good shoe for people who want a lot of cushioning if you don't like cushioning you're probably not going to be a fan of this shoe but as well as being good for those sort of daily training miles, I think they're a really nice option if you're somebody like me who 
probably I don't just want shoes for daily training miles. I want my shoes to pick up, the, allow me to pick up the pace a bit. Uh, and when I went out and running in these, I planned to do slow miles, but I ran a bit faster because I fancied it. And these were really good for that. And I actually think that they're surprisingly sort of fast and bouncy for a shoe that is essentially a big cushion shoe. Um, so I'm really impressed with them from that perspective. And um, yeah, I think they're a really good shoe for if you like cushioning, but you want a bit of versatility and you want to do a bit of speed in it as well. They're definitely a lot softer than something like New Balance's Fresh Foam 1080 V11, which has a similar level of cushioning, but that cushioning is a bit harder, a little bit more responsive. On the flip side, this Paran Plus midsole foam is feels a bit bouncier. So for some people, it might feel a little bit too soft and you're going a little bit too hard into that ground and it's kind of sinking in. Um, but I do feel like there's a lot of pop that comes back um, off of that sort of uh, soft impact that you hit on the road. Whereas with the Fresh Foam 1080 V11, it's a lot harder and a bit more responsive. So it's more suited to those people that like a shoe that doesn't have that sort of squish every time you're running in it. I'd probably liken it to the Brooks Glycerin 19 in terms of how it performs and the cushioning, similar level of cushioning to it. Again, I think the softness is the same, but I think it's a little bit more bouncy in this than you get in the Glycerin 19, which probably for me makes this more conducive to sort of being able to run at faster paces. But I think I still prefer the Brooks Glycerin 19 just because it's I, I that shoe is fantastically comfortable um, and just ticks a lot of boxes for me for those sort of daily runs um, where I want to just get loads of miles in. Also, I think that if you are a runner who maybe is signed up to half marathon or a marathon and your focus is comfort, you just want a shoe that's gonna make your feet, feet and legs feel great for the distance. Um, you're not that bothered about getting an amazing PB. You just wanna cross that finish line and go, my legs feel good. I really enjoyed running these shoes. I think this is a really good option. And I'd even, I'd quite like to test out a marathon in this just shoe just to see what it feels like at the end of it. Because I think there's enough pop in it to, to kind of make you run at a fairly competent rate. Um, it's not gonna slow you down. It's not gonna make you feel sluggish. Overall, I enjoyed running in the Triumph 19, probably more than I enjoyed the Triumph 18. Uh, I still think it's really a cruiser issue. I think within Saucony's lineup, though, I think I'd probably prefer it to a few of the other options in and around this bracket. I like it more than the Endorphin Shift, which I found just a really quite a big, slightly clumsy shoe at times. I think this is, um, is a slightly better, more versatile shoe that's still very comfortable. And I think I actually probably like it more than the Ride 14. I don't really find the Ride 14 very versatile. I find it quite a... Um, kind of firm like uninspired ride i don't think it's very quick um or especially comfortable i think it's okay at everything but i think the triumph is probably a little bit more comfortable and really has as much pop in it for easy work i know other people will probably find it a much slower shoe but yeah i don't love the ride 14 i think i'd probably prefer the triumph within Saucony's lineup for that but if you're looking outside Saucony's lineup there are um kind of easy day shoes that i do prefer to the triumph i prefer the kind of softer bouncier feel of something like the asics nova blast 2 or the nike invincible both are just a bit more exciting and comfy and soft on the run but then have a bit more pop if you are trying to up the pace i think i'd use them more for easy day shoes and in terms of pure comfort and a shoe that has a fairly similar feel to this i think the brooks glycerin is still a better option I, I really like the glycerin i think it's really comfortable and if you are just looking for that all out plush comfort you know loads of padding on the upper nice and a great step in comfort lovely feel underfoot on the run i think the glycerin's a bit better than the triumph um, in that category I also think if you are looking for maybe an easy day shoe that has a bit more versatility, I still really rate the Puma Velocity Nitro, which is a lot cheaper as well than the Triumph. Uh, and then there's a Puma Magnify Nitro, which we've been testing lately as well, which is actually fairly similar to the Triumph, I'd say. It's got a lot more padding up top. It's a bit kind of bigger and bulkier than the Velocity Nitro, which would be my preference. But if you do want more kind of plushness and padding and cushioning, then the Magnify, I think, is a good option. I think I'd probably rate it similar to the Triumph, but it is a bit cheaper as well. So my verdict on the new Triumph is, if you are looking for just one shoe to turn to uh, for kind of those easy runs, then I do think it fits a bill um, on that front. Now, if you're looking for something a bit more versatile, um, you can definitely spend less, and I definitely think you can spend around this price uh, and get something that's a bit better suited to kind of daily training and maybe kind of going to those kind of tempo runs and going a little bit quicker. So things like the Puma Velocity Nitro, which is cheaper than this, um, I think the Under Armour Flow Velocity Wind, which I always forget the name of, and that's definitely another option here too. And actually the Saucony Ride 14, which I think, you know, having run in both of these shoes, or both of these shoes, um, I definitely feel feels 
The Socony Ride 14 feels a little bit better in terms of kind of going a little bit quicker in I think uh, based on my experience. Um, but overall, I have actually really enjoyed this shoe. I don't have an easy uh, run shoe uh, kind of in my rotation. This is actually going to, I think, kind of fit there now. Um, you know, it's one I've thrown on just to go for a walk. And actually, you know, I think it's one you can wear all day. And when it's time to go running, uh, kind of like pressures off running, just going out there, going short, going long, just going and enjoying your run. Um, I think the new Triumph really works uh, really well. But if you are looking for something a bit more versatile, there are definitely better options out there. That's it from us. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and click that little bell icon. It really does make a difference and don't forget to check out the channel for all the other videos we've got from the latest road and trail shoes all the way up to the newest headphones and running tech like watches that you can get at the moment. See you later.